Today we're going to talk about the scientific reason why white paper sleeves are bad for your records. Plus, we got some cool new inner and outer sleeves from my friend Mike here at Vinyl Storage Solutions. All that and more coming up next. Check 33 RPM. 33 RPM, my name is Frank, welcome back to Sundays and channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl, gear, and more. Look who we have back. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, hi, I'm Mike from Vinyl Storage Solutions, and thank you for having me on, Frank. You bet. Mike has been on this program once before, and I think we've both been itching to do another episode together, and uh, we haven't had a chance until now, but you guys all know about Vinyl Storage Solutions. Um, it's my probably my go-to source now for outer sleeves for uh, my records. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I just like to support companies that I think are doing a good job. And on top of that, Mike is doing a great job, plus he's <laughs> local. So his local business is fantastic. So as I said, he's got some cool new products he's gonna show, an inner sleeve and an outer sleeve. We're gonna sure. talk about how his company is doing and uh, about the, the horrors, the horrors that white, um, Inner, white paper inner sleeves can cause, so let's get to it. Mike, tell us how the company's doing. What have you been up to? Well, February was our, depending who you talk to, either first anniversary or uh, birthday. Congratulations, and, um, one year. One year, amazing response. Um, thousands of customers worldwide and uh, Hundreds of thousands of sleeves. Funny, we started with two sleeves yeah. in last February, right? The four mil and the two mil dual pocket uh, resealable, and and now we're up to fourteen products. And everybody keeps sending me emails, which I absolutely love. Thank you very much. Um, and in those emails, they have little tidbits of information or ideas that are really important to me. Two of the things that came out of that recently was um, developing uh, an inner sleeve yep. that was clear. You have a dual pocket sleeve. So the dual pocket sleeves can cut you off, yeah. I think, well, from from my view anyway, sort of your initial claim to fame, because yeah. Mike makes the best. Um, do I have one here? Yeah, I have one here for you. So it's a dual pocket sleeve, two mil, where they're together so you can make a gatefold that opens. In this case, this is a stereotypical um, inner sleeve that's frosted but in this case is the clear inner sleeve so, so this is one of your new products so let's jump, into, let's jump right into that then yeah so <clears throat> if you're uh, using dual pocket and you have a paper or uh, a frosted sleeve and you have so much color vinyl coming out now and yeah. picture this don't you want to show it? Um, and the nice thing about this is obviously picture discs um, have been coming in PVC sleeves forever. And we all know what PVC um, can do to a record. Um, PVC has uh, a lot of chemicals in it that can leach. And so you want to get rid of the PVC. Um, and in this case, I spent a lot of time working with the film developer to create a clear inner sleeve that has any static still, yeah. um, but uh, is made from virgin uh, resin, so you will never have to worry about recycled material uh, leaching into your records. That's what we talked about last time. I didn't realize there's actually an additive in the That's plastic right. that it creates the anti-static properties, That's right? right? Yeah, yeah. And in an actual fact, um, the typical frosted sleeve also has the anti-static. Okay. Um, um, one of the problems with the uh, <clears throat> paper sleeves is you don't get that level of protection. Right. Right. And that's why we end up chasing that static on right. the... I'm going to talk more about paper sleeves coming up, so stay yeah. tuned for that. But. Yeah. <laughs> so Mike, Mike was showing you the, the, the dual pocket sleeves and that's you can put them together to kind of... Um, for the gatefold albums. However, you can also just use them... Um, for a standalone album, so this is two sleeves. This is just one, and this is what I like about them. Because I've always tucked my records into the back, so I just tuck into the back of this. So that's the dual pocket. One pocket is for the record. The second pocket 
is for the um I lost my train of thought. One pocket is for the <laughs> album jacket, the second pocket is for the records. So that's why you call them dual pockets, right? Right. And so there's a you know, a colored album, Danko Jones. One yeah, of my favorite. Great album, by the way. All right. Danko Jones has two podcasts. One's the Danko Jones podcast. He also has a podcast dedicated strictly to dissecting every single episode of Three's Company. I'm a big Three's Company fan. I got the box set. And he <laughs> analyzes every episode. <laughs> yeah, so there's the clear inner sleeve that came out, unfortunately, in white paper. Uh, but it's nice. It's beautiful green. It's not uh, speckled like some of the others. But this... It, it really makes the green pop, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So is that the big benefit too? I mean, you mentioned the other um, plastic inner sleeves have the anti-static qualities. Yeah. Is the benefit to this the fact that it's clear and really makes your um, colored vinyl stand out? Well, and that's the whole proposition with what I wanted to do is take the artwork and, and put it on a platform to really showcase uh, what the artist worked towards. Um, uh, my assumption being Danko Jones had some input into this. Yeah. And, and it's a great picture when you think about it, right? Yeah. And, uh, and show it for what it's really worth. And with the colored side, it's great uh, with the dual pocket because now you just don't see it when you're playing it, but you can, yeah. as people are browsing through your collection, which people love to do and yeah, you yeah. want them to do, right? Of course, yeah. That's what they're now for. they see the, you know, the beautiful colors behind it. So. You actually showed one record that I went nuts for. And in this case, who's this? This is the uh, Claypool Lennon Delirium. It was yeah. a record sent to me by a very generous... And for the record, I have not given this to Mike. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but we are using it to show off because it looks great. Look at that. That's amazing. Anyways, uh, and then obviously this is a 10-inch dual pocket and a 10-inch um, clear inner sleeve. So can I see this for a second? Yeah, here you go. So here's the dual pocket. So the benefit of these is, I mean, it makes the record pop, right? Mm -hmm. the, the clearness of this. The benefit of the dual pocket is you can slide your record in the back. And the benefit of this is you can actually see or really show off the record when it's tucked into the back. Yeah, that's beautiful. Also, uh, address the seven inch side of it. So this is Prince from mm -hmm. 1984, Purple Rain. Yeah, 84-ish. And this is dual pocket, dual flap. Uh, I like to dual flap for smaller items because people lift it up and then stuff falls out of a regular yeah. sleeve, but in this case they don't. And it's literally purple. What year is that? I want to see if I was right. Here you go. 1984. That's uh, where I'm at on the inner sleeves. Yep. On the outer sleeves, oh, I got to show my favorite record though. Yep. This is the uh, Rush Hemisphere picture disc. I have to tell you, the quality of the audio on it's amazing. I'm surprised because I generally have avoided picture discs because yeah. the ones I have sound terrible. It's got the snap, crackle, and pop times 10. Yeah. And I keep hearing that modern picture discs actually sound really good. You know what? Uh, I'm shocked. I'm yeah. really shocked at how wonderful it sounds. And I crank this puppy out, especially yeah. side one, right? Uh, which is everybody's favorite, I think. But uh, yeah, it looks wonderful. It's also in a dual pocket, dual flop. I'm moving away from uh, resealable tapes in, in, in my own uh, collection. Uh, a lot of customers have uh, sent me emails saying, Mike, I love your products, don't like tape. Oh yeah. So to that point, I said, okay, I hear you. And I'll make you your dual pocket with a tuckable flop, single flop. Right. So as opposed to like this one has the resealable That's right. uh, flap. flap on the bottom. Yeah. That one does not. I like the resealable ones, but that's the that's the beauty of this. I mean, you have choices. Yeah, it's all preference, right? Yeah. So when you tuck it in <clears throat> inside the pocket, what happens is the album puts pressure outwards and the record puts pressure inwards and it keeps the album yeah. inside. Nice. Yeah, thanks. And it's cool because you're innovating. You don't see, you haven't seen many, I haven't seen many, none of us have seen many innovations in the inner sleeve or outer sleeve in quite some time. I mean, it's the standard ones you see at the record store for 10 cents each or the, yeah. the MoFi inners or whatever, yeah. but this is all really innovative, cutting edge, new stuff. 
So that's the benefit in, of actually manufacturing in North America. Yeah. Like an American film and a Canadian converter. A converter is someone who takes the film and makes the product for you. And doing the designs based off feedback or um, what's practical, yeah. fit, form, and function for manufacturers out there. Um, the whole point of it is we have been rather underserviced to a certain extent. And, you know, we have always, people have always, especially autophiles, always have preferences. And, and oh, sure. Yours is totally different than mine. Yeah. So my goal is to try to, you know, satisfy those preferences as best as possible. Yeah. See, I'm, I think a lot of your sleeves starting to show up in the vinyl community. Like I watch other videos. I'm like, I know those sleeves. And uh, it just, it's really yeah. um, amazing how fast that has sort of gone through the community. And it just kind of, I think, speaks to how your, uh, your stuff is good. Uh, I owe everybody a great uh, debt of gratitude. You know, like, um, may I say some names? Yeah. Um, you get uh, Vinyl uh, uh, Cafe. Yeah. Well, sorry, Golden and Vinyl, vinyl Cafe. Yeah, Mark. Vi yeah, Vinyl Spin. Eric, uh, Kevin, or God. 60, I think. Kevin. Yes. He lives near Fargo. I've hung out with him before. Good guy. He's uh, actually offered me to come down and go through his collection. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to take you up on that, Kevin. Yeah. And uh, Belinda, uh, sorry, Melinda, and then Beth from B-Side Records. Yeah. All good uh, people. Tons of people. Uh, and many more I, I forgot to mention, so my apologies, but um, thank you very much. Before we get into paper sleeves. Yes. Because we want to talk about these paper sleeves. I have something for you. Oh. Do you mind if I give it to you right now? No, but there's absolutely no need. No, no. It, trust me, this is a little bit self-promotion, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm, I was going out the door, I'm going to try to stay in the camera. Yep. My wife said, take the garbage out. Yep. So I brought the garbage. Okay. This is for you. Okay. I'm going to step out of the camera so you can... Okay. Can people see this? Yeah. So this is not the garbage. No, I'm just teasing you. Can I rip this garbage yeah, bag? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I see a box. This is my acrylic crate that I sell. And I sell quite a few of them. Oh, wow. And it's for you to put your records in. Wow, look at this. Up in the living room so you have art for your art. Yeah. That's why you're asking me if I have a record player upstairs, because right. I do. So if I can this show you. very clear and nice. Uh, made by Mike. This Mike is, being you. Yeah. You have dividers here. If oh, you, you're under the frame, though. Oh, uh, hi. You have <laughs> dividers here. And then what you do, obviously, is you can put your records in. You can show it off. Yeah. So you take your favorite records and put them in. The dividers go in, so if you can support if you got yep. sections. Put these dividers in and show okay. people what you're talking about. All right. So you sell these on the website? Yeah, they're all handmade. Okay. Except so when you the ship cutting. them, do they come in pieces then? Like, do people assemble them themselves? No. It's complete, yeah. but it's padded to heck. <laughs> yeah, I think it It's a box be. in a box with one inch... Um, bubble wrap all the way around on all corners this is gorgeous it's uh it's machine cut but hand assembled mm -hmm. and then hand polished and flame polished so then your records can so just can sit back like that can you see that in, out in youtube land that's beautiful yeah so i put this behind us so people can see but yeah, stick some records in it there's some records in there so there you go art for your art wow thanks mike i appreciate You're welcome. that I love it because you got the clear inner sleeves and you just kind of, it pops. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for all your help. Oh, of course. Yeah. Good products deserve attention. Um, so as we talked off the top, uh, one thing before you leave here, I want to talk about white paper inner sleeves, which many of us in the vinyl community have sworn off and, and we read and hear a lot about them. And I've said on this channel before that my big pet peeve with a white paper inner sleeves is the fact that you have the paper particles and on the records and 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 other people have told me and I have probably said myself too when you put the records in them those paper sleeves scuff up your records and they're no good for it but this is all stuff we're saying I'm not sure if I have we've seen I guess we have some evidence of but you see like the, the, the paper fibers but you've actually done some scientific work on this can mm -hmm. you kind of tell the viewers what 
Certainly. what you've done and what you found out about the dangers and hazards of using white paper inner sleeves. Certainly. So all of my products are tested by an independent um, institution in, in the U.S. Uh, to meet ISO 18918, which is the uh, PAT test. Uh, is that? PAT. PAT it's, test? Uh, yeah, it's um, photographic activity testing okay because <clears throat> do you ever find those albums that are stuck and kind of tear off onto an outer uh, on an outer sleeve so oh, you mean like the, um, the shrink wrap or no just the sleeve sometimes they people, kind of stick to it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so that material um uh, has probably elements in it that shouldn't be used to store anything that's a photographic quality. Okay. Right. So like picture disc or the outer uh, album itself. Um, so I have that tested. So I actually had them test the standard paper sleeve that you would buy. Pick any any brand. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, and what the test does re replicates a record going in and out of the sleeve right. a certain period of time. And then under a high powered microscope, you can actually see the hairline scratches, uh, the pops, right. maybe, or the- Snap, crackle, and pop. Yeah, mm -hmm. over a period of time. Now this takes a period of time, but if you have a record that you know you hang on to for 20, 30 years, yep. it, it's gonna have an effect on it. Uh, there's tension in paper, and that's why papers uh, manufacturers like to use it for sandpaper, right? That tension allows bonding. So <clears throat> it's like paint. If you looked at, a, you know, something that was painted under a microscope, yeah. it's not flat. It has a lot of bumps and curves to it, and that's the what acts as an abrasive on the on the record. Right. All right. So when we look at that, we want to find something with very little tension on it, and that was the hard part about developing the clear inner sleeve, um, HDPE and LDPE, which most inner sleeves are made of, the mm. frosted stuff, they have very low tension. Uh, with the clear inner sleeves, um, I, the hard part was having low tension, but also being able to put anti-static additive into it and maintain the clarity. Right. So just going back to the sleeves though, so you had that scientifically tested. Like yes. you actually paid someone to... Yes. To what? Like to actually, <laughs> with like some kind of contraption, like to insert a record? No, it's, no. it's equivalent of vibration. Oh, okay. So it, it's a calculation, right? X amount of vibration equals X amount of movement. Right. Yeah. So it's people with scientific creds yeah. who did this. So I wonder too, like when you ship a record, I wonder if some of that scratching also goes on with uh, the white Well, sleeves. I mean, you gotta remember a record's 12 inches. Yeah. The inside of a record sleeve is 12 and a half. Yeah. Um, the inside of a uh, inner sleeve is about 12 and a quarter, give or take. There's going to be a little bit of movement right. there. So I wonder if that could contribute. Uh, Over time. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Because people also often talk about buying brand new records and they're getting scuffed straight out of the sleeve. That is likely not due to the paper. That's, That's likely right. to do something in the manufacturing process. Absolutely. That's why I asked you about that Aussie record because I yeah. have similar problems <laughs> right but they the there is a long-term effect if you keep those white sleeves uh, well first of all you're introducing dust yeah right paper does shed um, you're not sealing the record from the atmosphere yeah um, that being said you still want it to breathe so a, a decent uh, poly inner sleeve will allow it to breathe and not have dust, obviously. I was never a fan of those white sleeves. Even when I get, sometimes you get records and they have the lyric sheets inside yeah. and the records in there, I always take it out of there and I put in a separate inner sleeve. And I keep the lyric sheet, of course. Oh, of course. You want the, yeah. um, many of us music nerds like to read yeah. the liner notes and the yeah. lyrics and who played on what and who wrote yeah. what and the artwork, so you keep that. But you don't keep your record in there. No. It's funny when we were teenagers, we didn't care. I did. I read all. Of... Oh no! Sorry. I no, about keeping. The... Yeah. No. 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 I'd stack <laughs> records on top of each other, like out of the sleeves. You know what I miss? Hmm. Record players. Where no, you, you don't. Stack... <laughs> no, you don't. That was my first record player. My mom's. It was like a 1960s. It was kind of a suitcase thing, sort of. It was yeah. a big one. Stack three or four records and yep. play. Just party on, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we got the new products. We talked about why those things are bad. We got this uh, amazing box. Thank you for that. Yeah, awesome. Anything else we want to talk about before you get out of here and uh, until uh, until the next video? Um, all I want to do is thank everybody. It's been amazing. I. If you asked me a year ago where I thought I'd be today with yeah. it, I wouldn't even come close. Um, so I appreciate everybody's endeavors and the support. Um, sometimes the patients do because manufacturers make mistakes. Sure. And, and I like to quickly address those and take care of the customer. Um, people have been great and I just really appreciate it. I'm humbled. Awesome. Well, Mike, you make a good product, so a good product deserves that growth and that success. So wish you much more of that. And you guys out there, I'm going to leave a link to Mike's website below this video. It's vinylstoragesolutions.ca. Well worth checking out. I use his stuff. I love his stuff. And um, I'm really careful about what I say and which products I say I like because my 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 reputation i guess for lack of a better word is also on the line in, sure. in a sense so uh, definitely love your stuff and mike will have you back again in the coming months and we'll talk about something else because uh it's always fun to have guests on here he wants to talk about greatest hits and maybe we'll talk about greatest hits albums so uh yes all right guys let us know what you thought of today's video in the comments below white paper sleeves do you use them do you hate them like i do why or why not let us know in the comments below otherwise we wish each and every one of you a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.